So this is my festive dress of the year, basically. So I wore this when I did the interview with Trini and everyone kept saying, where's your dress from? We could buy a hairnet. No, I've had a hairnet. Unless you can get a different one that will stay off. What, sleep with a hairnet with a chin strap? Yeah, I suppose I could do. <laughs> you could have. You can't go to bed in a hairnet with a chin strap. <laughs> I mean, God. <laughs> well, there's no one there to see me. Well, you never I, know. I couldn't have done it when I had Flossie, because she would have got her claws... Because she's I don't even look, think there's a girl you... with colour. Like, oh, yeah, that's... bright pink hair. That looks brilliant. Now, that's about the length that this looks good. What's her name, Rebecca? Doesn't it look good? Yeah, and you, you can tell this girl, she's still got, but she said she's had all colours, she said. But, but it's just about that length and look, about that great. thick. Yeah. It, it, so, it, well, like, do you want me to think? I would have liked that when I you was young. You could still do it. You could still well, have it. Well, daft on me, but I mean, don't you think it's lovely all the new things? Oh, God, things yeah. I think it's brilliant. And I think it's brilliant they can all do it themselves. They don't have to go. Because it washes out, usually. I don't think it's permanent dye. Well, if I have her again, I'm, I'll ask her. Because she said that um, the first first one she had was green and but her she's got a friend who had the really bright red yes and she said, I think that comes off on the pillows though I think oh there she is where is it just there the girl with the pink hair oh yeah see doesn't it look good looks fantastic look see no I, I think it looks great but I bet that's done by a hairdresser I think they have I don't think this one would rely on she, hairdresser friend that's most of the but she can do wash it in her own oh, right. and get it to the right shade or something she, oh, that's good she does do that but see it doesn't look as funny as it sounds no I think it? it looks great meanwhile I'll try and get uh, so we can go to Boots and get a hair net oh I'm not all that you'll just look that. like Mrs Sharples you're very soon going to get uh, fed up with this green coat, I know. But uh, it is absolutely freezing. It is Tuesday night and um, I've been invited to the launch of a perfume workshop. So um, Ormond Jane is a perfume that I wear and um, the company is owned by a friend of mine called Linda. I have filmed her before, but this is a big deal. She's in the Royal Arcade, but um, now she's doing a workshop, a perfume workshop in Selfridges. And she's asked me to come along. I think it just opened tonight. It is so cold. Um, so I'm going to sneak out. Um, Matilda's asleep under a duvet. I'm going to sneak out and say hello to Linda, wish her the best of luck and have a look at what she's doing and then I'm going to come back and eat soup. I've eaten, I've eaten my body weight in bread today. It's like I'm packing the carbs for this cold weather. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to go and meet her in um, the perfume department. I love coming here. I can walk here from my flat. How amazing is this? On the run. 
Linda. Oh, how are you? Oh, beautiful. So, 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 Jasmine just said, um, will you know Jo when you see her? I said, oh yeah, you'll definitely know her when you see her. <laughs> this is, right, so this, everybody, this is going up on the vlog on Sunday. Okay. Um, and this is really exciting because I know this as the chocolate. Yeah. This was where it's the like chocolate jelly beans. Yeah, jelly all the beans jelly beans around yeah, there. that's right. So, Ormond Jane, this is, so th just tell me what's happening here yeah. now. So, it's all about sustainability. It's um, our take on um, the seven perfumes, seven colours. You choose a perfume, it hasn't got a name, you choose a colour, you choose your perfume, choose a colour, choose the percentage you want it poured at, give it a name, and then it's all recorded on a certificate, and then you can bring your, your bottle back and we refill it. So just tell us what choices we have here, and you tell me, and I will go down the line. Okay, so they don't have names, so it's one to seven. There's a lot of new ingredients that I don't normally use, and we're going a little bit more gourmand than usual. So we've got some new notes, we've got rum, we've got apple, we've got rhubarb. And rhubarb? So, yes, rhubarb. So we've got a few ingredients that are not typically of our palate, but they work very, very well. People come down here, how long are you here for? We're going to be here until probably about another eight to ten months. Oh gosh, so you've got all that. So this is your Christmas shopping. Now, you all know, so I've got um, Ormond Woman and I have my name engraved on it. Are you doing that? Yes, yes. So you can, you can have your initials engraved, you can name your perfume and you know, you personalise it to make it yours. So this is so special. And this is, how many years has this company been going? <laughs> uh, well, seriously, for 18 years. And for two years before that, I used to do Portobello Market and all those sorts of things. Um, but that was quite hard work, you know, in the rain with all my bags. But it's all part of the journey, is it? It's all part of it all. But also, she's a little person like yeah. me. Yeah. You see, when you're little, you're terrier-like. Yeah, I know. And you work hard. <laughs> I love the Selfridges food hall. That is it. And I know this sounds crazy, but Selfridges is my corner shop. And one of my favourite things is going in buying some food for dinner and then just walking home down Baker Street. I'm actually walking down Baker Street. I'm not. Not Baker Street, is it? Or is it? Yes, this is Baker Street. Not, well, it's Orchard Street actually, but it goes into Baker Street. Um, yeah, I love shopping in Selfridges for food late at night. Um, Linda's perfume is amazing. She is such a hard worker. That's her family's firm. And um, it's the hemlock that I love. And it's the hemlock that people always notice. Now, on my way home, I'm going to throw a coin into a urban waterfall that I'm going to show you. It's in the Lacoste shop. Um, and the Lacoste shop has a crocodile with um, a stream and a pond and I always throw money in for good luck so um, I'll show you that it's one of my favorite features I mean as a child it would have been a day out The very famous Lacoste shop. And yeah, they've turned the waterfall off. We usually the waterfall, and now they're telling us we can't throw coins in there, but I will anyway. Actually, I love this. So, this is a, another part of my walk home from Selfridges, and it's Manchester Square, where the Wallace collection is. But I'm going to run home now because I'm absolutely starving and I want some soup and I want to see Matilda.
Okay. I'm in Chelsea and I'm going to meet Trini. Trini Woodall. Although she probably doesn't need her surname. Um, she has, uh, well, I like to think that um, my generation have embraced social media. Not a lot of us have, but she was a bit of a trailblazer. I would watch Trini do her vlogs in her bathroom on a mobile phone that fell off the wall. Um, and she has gone from strength to strength. I mean, she's, she has the art of reinventing herself. And I'm going to do a middle-aged minx meets Trini, which I don't know when I'm going to put it, uh, post it. Um, try probably to get it out before the end of this week. But who knows? You know, it's a lovely autumnal morning. And I'm walking to the King's Road because it's just a nice day. So this is Trini's studio. This is where all the magic happens. This is where I'm going to be interviewing her as well. Just have a look at this. They've left me here to literally play with all this wonderful makeup. Um, I'm now waiting for my cameraman and then Dan, and then um, we'll get going with the interview. I'm so excited. Um, I love her. I just love her. And um, she's earned all her success. She really has. Good morning. So this is my festive dress of the year basically so I wore this when I did the interview with Trini and everyone kept saying where's your dress from um, and it's Bella Freud okay so that is slightly expensive but it is not scratchy it's gold it's got the most wonderful sleeves which um, have actually come undone it's got a collar which disguises the crazy neck um, I wear it with boots and just a tan tight but I've also worn it with stilettos, kitten heels. I'm going to do a twirl. Oh, by the way, look at this. A little miniature Matilda. This will literally take you day to night. So I have worn this at work. I know it's a bit extravagant, um, but then I change my heels and I can go and party at night. And uh, yeah, they do it in silver and they do it in gold. And it's called Valley of the Dolls dress and Valley of the Dolls was a Jacqueline Suzanne novel that I absolutely love, one of my favourite ever films and um, so it, I just had to have it. So that is it from me this week. Um, oh by the way the full Trini interview Middle Age Minx Meets Trini is now up, it's posted so you'll find it um, and can I just thank all of you who have subscribed yet again and who are pressing the bell because if you press the bell you'll know when I pop up uh, another vlog um, that's not on a Sunday morning and also um, please leave a comment because I'm not sponsored I don't do collaborations but lots of people want to know where I get my clothes or what I'm wearing or where I get my hair done and I will um, answer every individual comment um, rather than put links up because um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not here to advertise brands, but I will tell you where I get things um, if you ask in the comments section. Or just give us a thumbs up, tell us what, I just like reaction. Thank you. One walker, I think it's just one walking person this week in Carnaby Street, so keep sending them in. Have a great week, and um, I'll catch up with you next Sunday at 11. Bye. I'm walking, here's the knee and